Well, hello everybody, my name is Matthew Lavis, and this is going to be a review on the Lenovo Yoga Pro 2. And the reason why is because the last time I reviewed on the HP X Split 2, it did quite well. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. This would be a nice uh, addition for anybody who's thinking about buying a nice new dazzling 13.3 inch screen display that is very, very light. Um, this Pro 2, this is a tablet, it's called their hybrid, these hybrid um, computers. This one has the, uh, different modes, uh, the laptop mode, and I'll show you, tablet, tent, and stand. And it truly is just a gorgeous um, machine. It's just one of my favorites. I've always loved Lenovo. Now, at this practice, we already had a Lenovo Yoga uh, pad, just a regular one, the series before this, the idea, the Yoga series. And I think it was 11, and um, it worked just great. It had an i5 processor in it, 4 gigs of RAM, and 128 SSD. Uh, this one has a bunch of different things, and its base feature price that you can buy now, like uh, this provider did, for like four, $949. And this one has a 4th gen Intel Core i7 processor, or it may have an i5. I'll bring it up in a little bit. It only comes with a Windows 8 uh, 8.1 edition. And um, so those of you who are in a business or want to use it in a practical sense for like domain uh, joining, um, uh, uh, maybe Hyper-V or whatever you want to use it for, you may have to upgrade it um, to the Pro Pack, the Windows 8.1 Pro Pack. So it comes with the, also comes with the Media Center when you do that, by the way. Um, so let me go ahead and try and open this bad boy up. It is rather easy to open, by the way. So, And I unlocked my CD drive. <laughs> So here's some tech specs for you. So now with the upgrade, it is a Windows, like I said, it comes with just a regular Windows 8.1 64-bit operating system. So I did have to upgrade this one to the Pro because one of our programs requires it to, to run the Pro. Uh, this one has an 8 gig memory, um, 8 gigs of RAM at DDL3, which is standard, 1600 megahertz on a two-board channel system. So it's a... Um, it's, it's a wonderfully fast machine. The display that you're seeing here is 13.3 uh, inches in high resolution. And I think that's what, 32 by 1800? Which is just, it's phenomenally well. This video doesn't do it justice of how well this the picture is and the quality. It is, since it is a hybrid, it is also touch ability. So, whoop, and it goes up. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my information here and we can take a little bit more at these specs. So to go ahead and continue where I was at, uh, the dimensions for this thing is 12 by 13 by 8.6 by 0 0.61 in its width, as you saw earlier. Um, its weight, talk about its weight, I told you it was very light. It's only 3.6 pounds. Um, this right here has a 720 PhD webcam. Um, there's no out, outer facing webcam, so it's just this one right here. The storage that came with this one, I believe, is the 128, because that's all that we needed. And um, right now, I'm just changing my account, made an account, and creating it. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Oh, sorry, I knew better than that. So start, log this person out. I'm going to sign in, bloop, me, type in my password, oh and last time people asked um, are there onboard keyboard even if you decide not to use this, well what if I, did, so basically the question is what if I want to use it in tablet mode, can I use an onboard screen, uh, on screen keyboard, boy that's a mouth for, math, mouthful, or maybe it's just a very busy day at work. Um, Yes, the answer is yes, and so first of all, the best way to do that, you can always use the on-screen keyboard at any time. Even when you're in the operating system, there's a button down here, you hit it, and the on-screen keyboard will pop up. But for purposes sakes, I'll demonstrate this, okay? Well, actually, so this is in, this is in laptop mode, and as you can see right there, there's that keyboard button that I was talking about. So even in laptop mode, you can use the on-screen keyboard if you so desire. So I'll show you the other mode. And here you can see there is in, ooh, wow, sorry. That's called tent mode. And here's why. It looks like a tent. This is good, let's say you're gonna see some Netflix or you know, you just need it to stand up and you're gonna actually do something on here and you need to hit the, the keyboard for it to appear or whatever you have to do. 
Um, that's what it can be used for. Let's look at it in tablet mode, which is what I like. Because if you want a tablet, I want a tablet. Okay? It automatically disables the keyboard, right? So these buttons don't actually do anything. Um, only, only the screen does now. And so this is when you would use the keyboard. Let's say we're going to go to, to the top here. We're going to go ahead and go to Google. Very responsive screen, by the way. Um, the connectors we have here. Oh, by the way, sorry. I didn't tell you what type of the other specs on here. I didn't finish. So the wireless on here is a wireless N and Intel 7260. Yeah, of course, 802.11. Our 802.11 BG and N uh, has a Bluetooth. You can see the Bluetooth symbol right there. Uh, the connectors it has, it has a USB connector right there, just one of them, and or one USB 3.0. Sorry, where is that at? Right there. There's the power, which is the yellow. Um, you have an SD reader right there, right underneath the blue. You also have a mini HDMI right before the blue and then a SD reader. You have one USB and charging a, f a fast power charger for like a phone or iPhone or whatever. You have your volume buttons right to right here and you have your um, rotation button right there. You have your power button and uh, right there. The one that's light lit up. So pretty easy. Uh, I love this machine. It's very responsive, and so um, when you click on it, you click on your screen keyboard, um, you can go to a bunch of different places. All right, let's go to Newegg, because I like Newegg. I like watch shopping for computers. Bam. Um, let's go do something different. All right, there's my company's one. So it's very nice, very vivid, um, very vivid uh, screen. The graphics on here is an integrated Intel HD graphics. Um, the sound is also a just the integrated stereo speakers with Dolby Digital. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull up Netflix so you can hear it. And when you switch them, switch modes, it also tells you what mode you're in. Not that you don't know what it is already, but kind of pointless in my opinion. But some people like it. Gives them a nice little comfy feeling. Hmm. Do I want to really do that? Oh, let's let's do Pandora so you can hear some sound. Oh, I can't do that either. Darn you, YouTube. Um. I don't know. You have to take my word for it. The sounds. The sound is okay in my opinion. It's not the greatest thing in the world. Obviously, I'm not going to be using this for sound. I'm going to be using this to do work. Uh, word word processing. Um, Excel, uh, browsing, emails, um, you know, company, company things, uh, taking notes, as you can see Evernote's already pre-installed on here, um, oops. and there's a bunch of different things you can use, uh, you know, even remote desktop, RDP, this is pretty valuable for me in this case, um, your Excels, uh, like I said, so it's all for work, mostly. Let's say I just want to make a OneNote because I like OneNote and I'm not signing into the web, so I can't even show you that. But, oh, well, yes, I can, apparently. Bam. So, you can draw, which is what I like about this whole thing. Let's just say I want to go, all right, all right. So it's good for, let's say, your, and it's multi point. So, that's kind of cool about this thing as well. So I'm going to go ahead and close this down. And this is the Lenovo Yoga Pro 2. And one little side fact for you, because everybody's always interested, is how long does it last? Well, guess what? In an idle mode, it lasts for 9 hours um, at uh, 150 nits. And then up to 6 hours with, let's say, you're using some pretty intensive things like... Uh, Windows uh, Media Player or Netflix or video, any type of processing can last up to six hours. So it's pretty ideal for a work case scenario, which is why it's being used as such. Um, there's a bunch of different things it comes with. 
like software wise for Microsoft Office 365 Premium Home Edition. It's a 30 day trial. There's also the cloud storage uh, and a bunch of different phone ca companion in here. The uh, Photo Touch, it comes with McAfee, of course. Um, you know, all those things you can get rid of if you don't need them. But basically, that's the gist of this model. I really, really liked it. It's a very fast and comprehensive um, hybrid uh, system. Again, this is a Lenovo Yoga Pro 2, and hopefully you enjoy this video, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.